170 Chinese Poems, as translated by Arthur Whaley. Reading 2, beginning with The Golden Palace. Anonymous, 1st Century B.C. We go to the Golden Palace. We set out the jade cups. We summon the honored guests to enter at the Golden Gate. They enter at the Golden Gate and go to the Golden Hall. In the eastern kitchen, the meat is sliced and ready. Roast beef and boiled pork and mutton. The master of the feasts hands round the wine. The harp players sound their clear chords. The cups are pushed aside and we face each other at chess. The rival pawns are marshaled rank against rank. The fire glows and the smoke puffs and curls. From the incense burner rises a delicate fragrance. A clear wine has made our cheeks red. Round the table joy and peace prevail. May those who shared in this day's delight, through countless autumns, enjoy like felicity. Old Poem At fifteen I went with the army. At four score I came home. On the way I met a man from the village. I asked him who there was at home. That over there is your house, all covered over with trees and bushes. Rabbits had run in at the dog hole. Pheasants flew down from the beams of the roof. In the courtyard was growing some wild grain, and by the well some wild mallows. I'll boil the grain and make porridge. I'll pluck the mallows and make soup. Soup and porridge are both cooked, but there is no one to eat them with. I went out and looked towards the east while tears fell and wetted my clothes. Meeting in the Road In a narrow road where there was not room to pass, my carriage met the carriage of a young man, and while his axle was touching my axle in the narrow road, I asked him where he lived. The place where I live is easy enough to find, easy to find and difficult to forget. The gates of my house are built of yellow gold, the hall of my house is paved with white jade. On the hall table flagons of wine are set. I have summoned to serve me dancers of Han Tan. In the midst of the courtyard grows a cassia tree, and candles on its branches flaring away in the night. Fighting South of the Castle, Anonymous, circa 124 B.C. They fought south of the castle. They died north of the wall. They died in the moors and were not buried. Their flesh was the food of crows. Tell the crows we are not afraid. We have died in the moors and cannot be buried. Crows, how can our bodies escape you? The waters flowed deep, and the rushes in the pool were dark. The riders fought and were slain, their horses wandered neighing. By the bridge there was a house. Was it south? Was it north? The harvest was never gathered. How can we give you your offerings? You served your prince faithfully, though all in vain. I think of you, faithful soldiers. Your service shall not be forgotten. For in the morning you went out to battle, and at night you did not return. Footnote 7 regarding By the Bridge There Was a House There is no trace of it left. This passage describes the havoc of war. The harvest has not been gathered, therefore corn offerings cannot be made to the spirits. The Eastern Gate Anonymous, 1st century B.C. A poor man determines to go out into the world and make his fortune. His wife tries to detain him. I went out at the Eastern Gate. I never thought to return, but I came back to the gate with my heart full of sorrow. There was not a peck of rice in the bin. There was not a coat hanging on the pegs. So I took my sword and went towards the gate. My wife and child clutched at my coat and wept. Some people want to be rich and grand. I only want to share my porridge with you. Above we have the blue waves of the sky, below the yellow face of this little child. Dear wife, I cannot stay. Soon it will be too late. When one is growing old, one cannot put things off. Old and New, Anonymous, 1st Century B.C. 
She went up the mountain to pluck wild herbs. She came down the mountain and met her former husband. She knelt down and asked her former husband, What do you find your new wife like? My new wife, although her talk is clever, cannot charm me as my old wife could. In beauty of face there is not much to choose, but in usefulness they are not at all alike. My new wife comes in from the road to meet me. My old wife always came down from her tower. My new wife is clever at embroidering silk. My old wife was good at plain sewing. Of silk embroidery one can do an inch a day, of plain sewing more than five feet. Putting her silks by the side of your sewing, I see that the new will not compare with the old. South of the Great Sea My love is living to the south of the Great Sea. What shall I send to greet him? Two pearls and a comb of tortoise shell? I'll send them to him packed in a box of jade. They tell me he is not true. They tell me he dashed my box to the ground, dashed it to the ground and burnt it, and scattered its ashes to the wind. From this day to the ends of time I must never think of him, never think of him again. The cocks are crowing, and the dogs are barking. My brother and his wife will soon know. The autumn wind is blowing, the morning wind is sighing. In a moment the sun will rise in the east, and then it too will know. The Other Side of the Valley I am a prisoner in the hands of the enemy, enduring the shame of captivity. My bones stick out and my strength is gone through not getting enough to eat. My brother is a mandarin, and his horses are fed on maize. Why can't he spare a little money to send and ransom me? Oaths of Friendship In the country of Yue, when a man made friends with another, they set up an altar of earth and sacrificed upon it a dog and a cock, reciting this oath as they did so. Oath 1 if you were riding in a coach, and I were wearing a lee, and one day we met in the road, you would get down and bow. If you were carrying a ting, and I were riding on a horse, and one day we met in the road, I would get down and bow for you. A lee is a peasant's coat made of straw. A ting is an umbrella under which a cheapjack sells his wares. Oath 2 Shang Ya, I want to be your friend, forever and ever without break or decay, when all the hills are all flat, and the rivers are all dry, when it lightens and thunders in winter, when it rains and snows in summer, when heaven and earth mingle. Not till then will I part from you. Burial Songs, Song 1 the dew on the garlic leaf sung at the burial of kings and princes. How swiftly it dries, the dew on the garlic leaf, the dew that dries so fast. Tomorrow will fall again, but he whom we carry to the grave will never more return. Song 2, The Graveyard, sung at the burial of common men. What man's land is the graveyard? It is the crowded home of ghosts. Wise and foolish shoulder to shoulder, the king of the dead claims them all. Man's fate knows no tarrying. And this concludes Reading 2 of 170 Chinese Poems, as translated by Arthur Whaley.